Mike Tyson, the undisputed former heavyweight boxing champion, was renowned for his incredible power and punching ability. While much of the focus is on his upper body strength and speed, Tyson's leg workouts was equally crucial in his quest for boxing dominance. Squats were the key components of Mike's training regimen, contributing significantly to his punching power and overall success in the ring. They are a compound exercise that primarily targets the muscles in the legs, including the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. They also engage the lower back and core muscles, providing a full body strengthening effect. For Tyson, this exercise was instrumental in building the foundation of power necessary for his aggressive fighting style. Squats work by applying a heavy load to the legs, forcing them to exert considerable force to lift the weight. This increased load results in muscle fibre recruitment and adaptation, ultimately leading to enhanced strength. Mike incorporated various squat variations into his training, such as front squats, back squats and box squats, to target different aspects of leg strength and explosiveness. By developing strong leg muscles, Tyson could generate explosive power from the ground up, effectively transferring that force into his punches. The legs act as a bridge between the upper and lower body, and the power generated in the legs is transmitted through the core and into the arms when throwing punches. This synergy allowed Mike to hit his opponents with tremendous force. Moreover, squats contributed to Tyson's stability and balance in the ring. His ability to move swiftly, pivot, and change direction was reliant on a strong lower body. By enhancing his leg strength, he improved his agility and footwork, maintaining a dominant position in the ring and enabling him to bob and weave effectively to avoid his opponent's punches. Box jumps are an integral part of Mike's training routine, contributing significantly to his remarkable explosiveness and agility in the boxing ring. These plyometric exercises, which involve jumping onto and off elevated platforms, played a crucial role in enhancing Tyson's performance as a heavyweight champion. The fundamental purpose of box jumps in Mike's training was to improve his lower body power and quick explosive movements. These exercises were designed to target the muscles in the legs, particularly the quadriceps, hamstrings and calf muscles, to build the strength and speed necessary for swift footwork and powerful punches. The use of box jumps also aligns with Tyson's boxing strategy. He was known for his ability to close the distance between him and his opponents rapidly, attacking with ferocious speed. Box jumps helped develop the leg strength and explosiveness required for this kind of movement, enabling Mike to execute his in and out style of boxing effectively. One of the critical aspects of box jumps is their contribution to agility and balance. These exercises require precise coordination, stability, and the ability to land accurately on a platform. Tyson's exceptional agility in the ring, allowing him to evade punches and move swiftly, was partly honed through the regular incorporation of box jumps in his training regimen. Lunges were contributing significantly to Mike's lower body strength, balance, and overall boxing prowess. One of the primary objectives of lunges in Mike's training was to build lower body strength, particularly targeting the glutes. By engaging these muscle groups, lunges helped him develop the leg power necessary for delivering swift and powerful punches, which were a hallmark of his fighting style. The ability to generate force from the legs and transfer it into his punches was a key factor in Tyson's incredible punching power. Balance and stability are essential attributes for any boxer, and lunges were crucial in this regard. When performing lunges, Mike needed to maintain balance while stepping forward and lowering his body, mimicking the footwork and weight shifting he would use in a boxing match. This exercise helped him become more stable on his feet, making it harder for opponents to knock him off balance, and allowing him to maintain his stance and control in the ring. Lunges also played a role in improving Tyson's agility and ability to pivot. His in and out boxing style, where he would swiftly close the distance to attack and then pivot away from his opponent, was greatly enhanced through regular lunge practice. By lunging, he developed the strength and movement patterns necessary for quick directional changes and lateral movements. The primary focus of calf raises and Tyson's training was the development of explosive leg power. Mike was known for his quick, Powerful movements in the ring and calf raises played a crucial role in enabling him to generate force from the ground up. By strengthening the calf muscles, which include the gastrocnemius and soleus, Mike improved his ability to push off the canvas and deliver lightning fast punches. 
This explosive power was a hallmark of his fighting style, allowing him to close the distance to his opponents rapidly and land devastating blows. Maintaining balance and stability is paramount in boxing, and Mike's calf raises contributed significantly to this aspect of his performance. These exercises helped him develop stronger ankles and lower legs, which in turn provided better support and stability while he moved in the ring. A solid base and stable footing allowed him to dodge, weave, and counterpunch effectively without risking injury or imbalance. Calf raises were also vital for Tyson's ability to pivot and change directions quickly. These exercises enhanced the range of motion in his ankles and improved his pivoting skills, crucial for maintaining optimal positioning in the ring. Whether he needed to step in, pivot away, or change angles, the strength and flexibility of his calf muscles played a pivotal role. One of the most notable benefits of jumping rope in Mike's training was its effect on his stamina. As cardiovascular exercise, it effectively elevated his heart rate, increased lung capacity, and improved overall endurance. Tyson's boxing style was built on relentless pressure and a high work rate, and the stamina developed through jumping rope allowed him to maintain this aggressive approach throughout the duration of extended bouts. These early morning jump rope sessions served as the foundation of his incredible cardiovascular fitness. Beyond endurance, jumping rope played a pivotal role in refining Mike's agility, balance, and coordination. The rhythmic footwork required for skipping rope translated seamlessly to his ability to move swiftly, pivot, and change direction within the boxing ring. These attributes were crucial for maintaining a strategic advantage and evading opponents' punches effectively. Jumping rope not only improved his physical capabilities, but also served as a mental warm-up, helping him clear his mind and focus on the day's training and sparring sessions. Another essential aspect of jumping rope was its contribution to timing and rhythm, fundamental elements in boxing. Tyson was known for his precise punching and ability to exploit moments of opportunity during matches. Jumping rope to the rhythm of the skipping rope sharpened his sense of timing, a skill he used to land precise punches and execute defensive maneuvers at the right moment. His mastery of timing was a key element of his success. The primary focus of hill sprints was to develop Mike's explosive leg power, a key attribute for generating the incredible force behind his punches. As a boxer, Tyson's ability to deliver knockout blows was renowned, and much of this power originated from his legs. Hill sprints required him to exert maximum force against gravity, leading to significant gains in lower body strength. The explosive nature of these sprints, combined with the resistance from the incline, translated directly to his ability to drive off his legs and deliver powerful punches in the ring. Furthermore, hill sprints were an exceptional cardiovascular workout that improved Mike's overall endurance. Boxing matches, especially at the professional level, demanded a high level of cardiovascular fitness, as fighters often went the distance in grueling contests. Tyson's conditioning was second to none, and his hill sprints contributed significantly to his ability to maintain a high work weight throughout the fight. The combination of leg power and endurance made him a formidable opponent, capable of both delivering knockout punches and outlasting his adversaries. Apart from the physical benefits, hill sprints also tested Tyson's mental fortitude. Running uphill is mentally taxing due to the constant resistance and discomfort, and it required a tremendous amount of determination to push through. Mike's mental toughness, developed through rigorous training like hill sprints, allowed him to stay composed and focused in high-pressure situations during matches. Agility drills for Tyson encompassed a variety of exercises designed to improve his quickness, balance, and coordination. One of the primary objectives was to enable him to move swiftly and change directions effortlessly, a vital skill for evading opponents' punches and launching his own rapid-fire combinations. Footwork was a central element of Mike's boxing style, characterized by his ability to dart in and out of range and pivot effectively to maintain a dominant position in the ring. Agility drills allowed him to fine-tune these movements, ensuring that he could close the distance with his opponents swiftly and unleash his devastating punches with precision. Reaction time, another crucial aspect of agility, was sharpened through drills that required him to respond quickly to visual or auditory cues. This enhanced his ability to anticipate an opponent's movements, slip punches, and counter effectively. Tyson's agility drills included ladder drills, cone drills, and various forms of footwork exercises. 
Ladder drills involved stepping quickly in and out of ladder rungs, improving both foot speed and coordination. Cone drills required him to navigate through a series of cones arranged in patterns, enhancing his ability to make quick changes in direction. Mike's agility drills also focused on balance and control. He would practice maintaining stability while executing explosive movements such as pivots and lateral steps. These drills ensured that his aggressive style was not compromised by a lack of balance. One of the primary benefits of plyometric exercises for Tyson was the development of fast twitch muscle fibers. These muscle fibers are responsible for quick, explosive movements and are essential for generating tremendous speed and power in boxing punches. By focusing on plyometrics, Mike fine-tuned these fast twitch muscle fibers, allowing him to deliver devastating blows with incredible velocity. Boxing, being a sport that demands split-second reflexes and the ability to explode into action, greatly benefited from Tyson's plyometric training. Exercises like squat jumps, box jumps, and explosive push-ups required him to generate maximum force in minimal time, mirroring the demands of boxing movements. This training allowed Mike to accelerate and decelerate rapidly, facilitating his dynamic infighting style. Plyometric drills also honed Tyson's agility and explosiveness. His ability to evade opponents' punches and quickly close the distance to deliver his own strikes was a hallmark of his style. Plyometrics contributed to this agility by improving his reaction time and ability to make rapid coordinated movements in the ring. Furthermore, Mike's core strength was another area positively impacted by plyometric exercises. A strong core is critical for generating power and maintaining balance in boxing. Many plyometric drills required him to engage his core muscles, which were vital for his ability to throw powerful punches while remaining stable in the ring. Some of the specific plyometric exercises Tyson incorporated into his training included squat jumps, where he would explosively jump from a squatting position, and box jumps, which involved leaping onto and off boxes of varying heights. Explosive push-ups added another dimension to his upper body strength and agility. Mike Tyson's leg workout regimen was instrumental in shaping him into the ferocious and dominant boxer he became. His leg strength and power were critical components of his fighting style, which combined speed, agility, and incredible punching ability. Tyson's dedication to developing his leg muscles through exercises like squats, calf raises, box jumps and lunges, allowed him to generate explosive force and maintain balance while delivering devastating punches.